Teeming with mysticism and magical realism, Najib Mahfouz's Arabian Nights and Days is a heady and spiritual reimagining of sorts of the classic 1001 Nights. Mahfouz is a master storyteller who received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1988, and Arabian Nights and Days is no exception. In fact, I'd argue it's both a literary and philosophical masterpiece. It's also his most spiritual work, and resounds with the esoteric elements of Islamic tasawwuf, more commonly known as Sufism. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Najib Mahfouz and notions of truth as we delve deeper into the subject. Arabian Nights and Days picks up right before the original 1001 Nights ends. Scheherazade has run out of stories to tell the king and now faces execution at his cruel and capricious hands. However, instead of only focusing on Scheherazade's plight and subsequent pardon, Mahfouz reintroduces many of the characters from the timeless stories in an altogether deeper and philosophical light. Legendary figures like Aladdin, Alibaba, and Sinbad take on heavier existential personas, driven by themes of loss, redemption, and transcendence. Jinn, those otherworldly creatures made of smokeless fire often mentioned in the Quran, also abound in the novel, sometimes guiding the hopeless and perplexed, often deceiving the prideful and those full of contempt. Ultimately, however, Mafuz's brilliant novel is an allegory for our ardent longing for truth and how it remains, in so many respects, elusive and even maddening. And yet, most of us are compelled to enter its maze, even if only armed with votive candles at our disposal. In what I would argue is the very heart of the novel, Mafuz writes, I give you the words of a man of experience who said, it is an indication of truth's jealousy that it has not made for anyone a path to it and that it has not deprived anyone of the hope of attaining it. And it has left people running in the deserts of perplexity and drowning in the seas of doubt. And he who thinks he has attained it, it disassociates from. And he who thinks that he has disassociated himself from it has lost his way. Thus, there is no attaining it and no avoiding it. It is inescapable. And while it might seem that such a brilliant, paradoxical statement on truth would lead one to the absurd conclusions of Sartre and Camus with their bleak existentialism and attendant hopelessness toward life itself, Mafuz seems to actually echo the spiritual perplexity and bewilderment found in the mystical writings of Islam's most renowned Sufi, Ibn Arabi. In fact, drawing from William Chittick's masterful translation of Ibn Arabi's work in The Self-Disclosure of God, Ibn Arabi boldly states, Arrival at bewilderment is arrival at God. Bewilderment, then, becomes a form of guidance from God. Mafuz's deserts of perplexity are, in fact, way stations that draw us closer to the truth, not away from it. Chidduck elaborates on what Ibn Arabi means, stating, The constant renewal of creation, which demands that every movement be a new self-disclosure of God, throws those seeking God into perplexity and bewilderment. They are confused by the recognition of their own ignorance. Bewilderment, then, is one of the highest stages of knowledge. To be sure, seeking truth and seeking God are synonymous with one another in Arabian Nights and Days, and is perfectly embodied in the novel's most profound and mystical character, the Sufi Sheikh Abdullah al-Balki, who is unaffected by all the madness, mayhem, and magic that surround his city. Mafuz's notion of seeking truth in God and its consequent bewilderment not only mirrors the Sufi understanding from sages such as Ibn Arabi, but also echoes Socrates in Plato's Apology when he essentially states, I know that I know nothing. For literally thousands of years, that simple Socratic utterance has been the foundation of wisdom throughout the ages. 
One is not so much lost in an intellectual labyrinth of one's own making or the deserts of perplexity, as Mahfouz puts it, but rather continually humbled into a higher state of being by one's constant seeking of truth in God. I'm also reminded of the provocative statement that Catholic mystic Meister Eckhart said regarding truth. Truth is something so noble that if God could turn aside from it, I could keep the truth and let God go. An enigmatic statement to say the least, but Eckhart is also intimating that truth and God are synonymous, as his works and writings reveal. It's the very yearning for truth in God, devoid of platitudes and rote dogmatism, that makes Arabian Nights and Days one of my all-time favorite books that I easily put next to Steinbeck's East of Eden and Dostoevsky's Brothers Karamazov. The novel is both wildly entertaining and deeply reflective. And it's not a spiritual work in the vein of self-help books like The Alchemist. It's far richer and deeper, and reminds me of the enigmatic stories of Jorge Luis Borges, but steeped in Islamic mysticism. What is your opinion on truth? Do you view it as synonymous with God? For that matter, what's your opinion on God? What novel, story, or poem has offered you such insights or guidance? Like and comment down below.